I'm going on an adventure alone by traveling through Europe by train with the goal to do the most beautiful and most varied interrail trip. And it all starts with a wedding. Well, some stuff happened before that too. But yeah, it starts with a wedding. So at the moment I'm on a mountain somewhere in Barcelona and I am in Barcelona because I had a wedding of a family of mine and I thought this would be a great starting point for a late summer interrail trip. I did it once already in 2017 but this time is different because this time I'm traveling alone. I consider myself an introverted person and maybe not as outgoing as maybe other people. So by traveling alone I thought this would be a good challenge to I guess get out of my comfort zone and, well, to seek discomfort. I have to wait before the freight train is gone. All right, so right now I'm in the middle of nowhere, uh, somewhere in Spain. Um, I missed my first train, which is kind of important with interrailing. Well, I technically didn't miss it. I was kind of sent around the station a bit long because well, I, I needed the seat reservation and they thought it was a ticket. And then I went back and forth and back and forth and then the train went gone. So now I have an alternative route. Um, eso. Claro. So on my interrail trip, I'm going, well, I'm starting, started in Barcelona. Now I'm going to Bilbao, San Sebastian. Then I'm going to the south coast of France, to Fréjus, to Nice, uh, then to Italy, and then to Switzerland, and then back to the Netherlands. And I wanted to try to vlog or film the whole experience because I've seen a lot of cool videos, not only about interrail, but also about uh, yeah, people going on their own adventure and it's it's pretty cool how people are really comfortable in front of the camera and also to meeting new people. So I'm trying to make it a bit like a movie um, to my best of my abilities. Yeah, good times, have fun. We'll see. Bye bye. Hola. Hola. Good, how are you? Good, thank nice. you. You have a booking? Yes. Okay, how is your Spanish? <laughs> the plan was to stay for two nights in a hostel and I arrived there, I checked in and it was fine, the common area was pretty nice, there were a lot of people. However, my sleeping room, when I entered, everyone, everyone, literally everyone was sick, everyone was coughing, everyone was sneezing, there were paper towels everywhere. So I decided, well, I'm not gonna sleep there. So when I was having dinner, I booked for two nights a hotel instead, uh, which is where I am. I went back to the hostel to, to the common area just to talk with some people and it was great fun. But no, I wasn't going to sleep there. But today, second day in Bilbao, I'm gonna walk around the city and try to get into the Guggenheim Museum. Uh, and we'll see from there. So, you cool Bilbao montage. Guggenheim was really cool. I actually didn't see that much modern art because the whole floor was closed due to renovations. However, there was an exhibition about the history of cars, which made the six-year-old in me very, very happy. They had everything from the first cars ever made to Lewis's W11, and my favorite, the Porsche 356. 
yeah, that's it for the first episode. Thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot. There will be five episodes in total, so subscribe to stay tuned and see you in the next one. Later. Thank you.